Only my life got it. Only my life got it. Fight me in fact, I got it. Only my life got it. Good day everyone, uh, wherever you are watching the video today, and uh, welcome back again to the channel. Um, so today, uh, which is the uh, first Friday of the of the month, if I'm right. So I want to uh, make some lectures and uh, some deep enlightenment some deep enlightenment something you need to know so uh before we go into this if you have not subscribed if you are new to the channel um, my name is Fajimi Fakayode I'm a spiritualist and a uh, abalist as well and a spiritual consultant so if you have not subscribed um, you can join the family by subscribing Turn on the notification bell and like the video. Share with others. Yes. If you find something useful for you, there's nothing bad in sharing it. So, um, there was a time I got someone in my message, you know. So, she, she, she said she actually came through my channel on a random uh, YouTube page. So, but later on she discovered she discovered that uh, her sister has been on this channel for a long time not until she, she introduced the channel to her sister before uh, she realized that the sister has already been on this channel you see some <laughs> some people are very secretive although it's good to be secretive on some on some matters uh, but if you find something informative something uh, like helping others there's no bad in it so that's the fact and that's the reason we are here to share with you anything that has to do with spiritual matters so if you find anything useful you share the videos to your friends to your family and then you know it creates a wider audience and uh, you know it grows the channel as well and also uh, help you as well so there's a reward for that uh, anything you do that has to do with sharing things, giving things out, there's always a reward for that, apart from what people are giving you. So, it's not about what we are getting from this channel, but it's about how you are helping the humanity, what you have contributed to the growth of the humanity. So, that is the essence of all these things. Now, just like I, I was saying, today's uh, video is all about lecture, a deep lecture. See, it is not every time we are going to be doing a video on spiritual works alone. And I've said it many times that uh, if you are deeper enough in anything called spirituality, you will believe that it is not just doing spiritual works alone. It's not about jumping around YouTube, other social media platforms looking for spiritual works. The learnings, the learnings, the teachings there, the knowledge of it are more deeper, are more necessary than just jumping on every random spiritual work you see on, on the internet. So I said it the other time that everyone can, anyone can be an herbalist, but not everyone can be a spiritualist because spiritual is very deep. So that's the reason. And then, just like I was saying, I said it that uh, if you are, if you want to be spiritually balanced. If you want your life to be okay, if you want things to be going well for you, and if you, you know, there's no way you'll be having problems spiritually that you balance physically. That's what people don't know. So if your spiritual life is balanced, surely your physical life is going to be all right as well. So I'm going to, today I'm going to tell you more things about spirituality. And uh, I'm going to reveal five things that normally causes um, things not working for you or that normally make things hard or maybe you have been doing everything and at the end of the day you are not getting the results you deserve so if you can keep take your time to watch right from the beginning to the end of this video i promise you that you are going to learn a lot yes you are going to learn a lot so today i'm going to talk on three good things three uh basic and uh, 
uh, fairly reasonable things that are fairly important in spiritualities. So this thing is basically for people, maybe if you have done everything, you've done everything you're supposed to do, and at the end of the day, things are not also moving well. You've, you've watched every video, you've, uh, you've prayed, you've done all this, done all that, and at the end of the day, things are not going well. It may be, this thing I'm going to discuss may be one of the reasons uh, things are not going well for you, or maybe reason why um, things are like that. So now the first thing we are going to talk on is things are more cogent and are always very important in spirituality and can be the reason uh, one can be facing spiritual challenges or maybe can be the reason why things will not be moving well for someone uh, in life. So the first one is what I call Ori. Ori. In my language, we call it Ori. And what is Ori? And uh, for people outside the Nigeria, or for people that don't understand what we mean by Ori, I will try to translate it into English. You see, when they say Ori, Ori is a spiritual head. So this thing will sound funny to some people. They will be like, hey, what is a spiritual head? You see, everyone you see in life, either male or female, either young or old, uh, has their Ori, this spiritual head. You see, apart from this physical head we are carrying around, we always have a spiritual head. In one of my last videos, I said it. I said that uh, in a spiritual world, you are being represented by your ori, by your spiritual head. So everyone has that, this guardian. Let me put it as a guardian angel. So let me just use that language. Now, when when God, uh, according to uh, the the knowledge of Oracle, when God created everyone, uh, he is being he or she will be giving uh, the the Ahuri, their separate guidance. Like okay, this thing will follow you. This is this is the person you will be guiding. This is the person you will be uh, notifying if there's anything, if anything is going to happen to him or her. So, and then this thing may sound funny, but I want to create some relevance and uh, uh, some some facts on it. So that's why you will see sometimes when you dream, you see a replicate of you, you see someone resembling you very similar and resembling you very well in a dream that is your worry that is your worry so and if all these things you don't believe it if anything is going to happen to someone it will firstly happen to their worry so that is everyone is having a replicate a replicate in the in the spiritual world that means you are having a twin in the spiritual world. So if you pray for anything, before the thing, my godson and goddaughter can testify this. I, I always tell them that uh, if you pray for anything, before that thing will happen to you in reality, it will firstly take effect on your ori, which is rep representing you in the spiritual world. Which is representing you in the spiritual world. So now, if you if you are using something, maybe a spiritual work, a prayer, or someone is doing anything for you, it will firstly take effect on your ori before taking effect on your real personality, on your physical life. You understand? So that is when you will see some people, they have, you know, just like I said, some people have tried a lot of things, you know, I said it earlier that uh, we love, we just love uh, popular things. You can see a video like this may not be doing well because of uh, not everyone 
are so are so are so wide enough in spirituality. Not everyone have the the inner eyes. When they say someone have an inner eye, it's not about having a a an eyes attached to your stomach. No, it's about how deeper you can think. Either about spirituality or anything. That's when what they mean by someone having a inner eyes or spiritual eyes. So if you are wider enough, you will see that all these things are more are more important than just doing every random thing you see. So now, when you are having a problem with your ori, then surely your life will, ne- will not be balanced. So someone was asking me the other time that can you, can someone have problem with their this with, with this their spiritual head? Yes, it is possible to have a problem, a misunderstanding between you and your ori. It's like when you have a guardian, you have a representation. And uh, when you have a bodyguard, you are to be you are to be paying his or a salary because uh, he's guiding you. So you are to be feeding him. You are to provide for him if you want a secured life. If you want your life to be secured, then someone guiding you to you need to make sure you appease them. So that's what brought about uh, appeasing your worry and then uh, something like making. If you are having problem with your worry, it's like when you are having problem with your security of your house or is a problem with your bodyguard you know easily the enemy can get you and if you don't believe this if anything if an attack is sent on you maybe someone attack you spiritually maybe someone did something bad on you spiritually before that thing will take effect on your physical life it will firstly go to that your worry so if your worry has taken in that problem then surely that's when all the problem will start happening. That is when you will realize that uh, things are not going well. You will rea- because the problem had already happened in your spiritual world before taking effect in spiritual world and in the reality, or let me say in physical world. So if you have, if your oil has been in a bad condition, there's no way. I'm telling you the truth. There's no, there's no how much you will spend on spiritual work. It will not work for you. There's nothing you will do. If you, let me tell you, a prayer cannot be answered if your ori is in bad condition. So this thing is not creating irrelevancy or making scaring people away. No, it's just to let people know because it only really sadden my heart when I see people trying a lot of things. Some people have spent money. <laughs> A lot on trying spiritual works, doing sort of things. Some have paid millions, thousands, searching around for what is not lost. Some people instead of now, let me tell you one thing. Some will be looking for um, rituals, money ritual. They want to be as rich as Dangote. They want to be as rich. They want money to be uh, flowing to them, doing sort of things. And they they are not checking if they are if they are is in the is in a good condition. Then they will be trying everything. They will be spending so much money on spiritual works. They will be spending so much money from doing all sorts of things, and that thing will not work. Because if you use anything before the thing will start manifesting in your life, to firstly operate something in your spiritual world with your ori. So that will be a mutual agreement between your ori and what you are using. So if you are living with someone and you are not talking, you are not in a good condition, then you are asking the person to go and collect something for you. There's no way it will go. There was a time I was, I was, you know, I was consulted for, for, for a check-in. Someone actually consulted me for a check-in. Then when we were checking, then the IPA says that uh, the person should appease his story. 
So it was like what is only like you, you imagine you will just do spiritual works, and that is it. Uh, normally, as you know me, I always make things clearer for people that have consult consulted me the past hour. I don't know how long it takes for a like video like this. I will make sure I explain things in details. So I was explaining to him that there's no way what you are asking, just like this now. If I say that your will is not in good condition, you are looking for something. Else. It's like when you are not in a good condition with someone and you're asking them to go and get something for you. They will not go. That is why sometimes, even um, according to what we learn, the knowledge of FIFA or, and the Ogaku, is that there are some spiritual work before you before you use them, you must appease your will because they may be very stronger. That is when you will hear some people using um, spiritual works and then they turn mad. Maybe the spiritual work is for for them to be rich and at the end of the, at the, end of the day, they turn mad because the thing is more is not expected by the Aori. They are, it's against what the Aori likes. Just the way we as a human being love one thing. That's where we all normally say something in Yoruba. Say, this thing, I will translate it for you. We say it that the meaning is what you like. May your Ori like it too. May your spiritual like what you prefer too. Some people will prefer a, a light-skinned woman and their Ori will prefer a dark-skinned woman. Then they will marry at the end of the marriage will cross because they are doing something against their holy or maybe their holy is not even with them this thing i'm saying is not about it's not advertisement it's not just to i'm not asking anyone to consult me for their holy for the appeasement of your you can appease your anywhere you like but what i'm saying is just like i said at the beginning of the video i'm going to explain three things that I'm going to explain to you things that normally causes problems that you may overlook. So these are the things you normally overlook. So if your Ori is in a bad condition and you are using a, a any spiritual work, or you are even praying, it's not even about using a spiritual work. Let me tell you this fast, no one will ever tell you. If you are even praying and your Ori is not in the good terms with you, there's no way the prayer will be answered. It's just like fetching water into a basket to be pouring away because you don't have the container so for for my godson and goddaughter i at least someone someone was asking uh, the other time that how soon or how long should you be appeasing your ori and then i said at least two times in a month or month or once in a month at least depending on what you are praying for so if you are looking for something bigger if you are praying for something great then you need to be happy in your or if you are in the midst of problems if you are in the midst of uh, enemies so you should be it's one of the things you should know so we are going to be discussing more about this later so that's the first one then to the second one that normally Causing things to not working for you. So this video is not basically to uh, to to debacle um, spiritual works. Spiritual works are very good. They are also helping humanity. But the essence of this video is to let you know that not every problem is solved only with spiritual works. That's the fact. Not every problem can be solved with spiritual works alone, not by adding a uh, bitter leaf with a uh, coconut with no although it may they are also helping but there are some other things that are more helpful even more than using anything any random things you see so that's the essence of this video so that's the more reason you should be making consultation about yourself all the time. You know about advertisement, you know about making you do something. But they are very necessary. Even if you are not going for any consultation, 
take always take note always not take note of yourself always take time to inspect yourself yes some people will say what do i mean by this inspecting yourself means that you have to take time to watch your journey if you have been doing something and it's not going well then you turn back to try to, to see if you are doing it well so if you have been using spiritual works using that using this and it's not going there you need to check if you are doing it right or if you are if there's some, something wrong somewhere so that's the that is for we then another thing that normally causes problem apart from what uh, spiritual works can solve alone is that when you are having issue with uh the terrestrials so there's no way as a human being that i i said this sometime there's a general problem and that is the second point a general problem in terms of the fact that you are alive the problem will surely occur because if you have one if you, if you have watched one of my lectures video i made it clear that uh, right from the onset of human creation there has been a problem there has been the fact that our forebears has offended some spirit spirit world and it has been a cause that as long as you are looking for good thing you always pass through that problem and that what is it spiritual problem as long as you are living as long as you are aiming for good things you always either you are doing good you are doing not that is why you should not watch yourself alone so people will say their life is going well they don't need anything spiritual they don't need spiritual advice they don't need something like this well i'm not saying that it's something you use spiritual work before you can make it in life it's something you do all these things we are saying before but let me tell you one thing there's no way you will escape being spiritual there's no way because just we are living in the physical world because we are being surrounded with many unseen things we are living in because i said it that human only have some opportunity of seeing some physical things there's something that may be around you i will not be seen but your only there are some people that sees it you already seen it so if if you are if there's a point i forgot to add to the previous one if you're if you are a king in your spiritual world you will be living like king in a reality you may not be a king to the extent of wearing a crown but you'll be feeling the same way king feel you'll be feeling that you're you are living as a king that is essence of appeasing your worry so people they will you know this thing if you if you if you don't believe all what i've been saying take note of this you as a person there will be time you'll be feeling some greater than you are someone has come to me and he said you always feel like he is a he is an an, an emperor being worshipped by many people but it's not in that condition like he's he always feel like he's being surrounded by many good things he's in wealth he's in wealthy life he's living a luxury life things are moving away but he's not getting that in why then what i understand by by that is probably his ori is some kind of bigger because we have this the same way we are different spirit uh, physically some some people have a bigger bodies some people have, have a smaller or tiny bodies the same way in the spiritual world too so if you are only is some kind of big you, there's a level to it the same way we have a governor we have a president we have a king we have a uh, the servant the same way it is not don't quote me wrong it's not everyone that's going to to be that big in life but there are levels to it in your your ori may be in the level of no that big we are created differently anyway so it's not that uh, your, your your that is why no matter how hard you strive no matter how hard you even work on your spirituality there's no left there are some level you will not get to it is not a cause it is not the fault it's not a problem it is because 
we are not created equally. The same way our Ori is not equal. Some, if, some people have a very bigger Ori that when they pray for something and their Ori is in a good condition, you get it for them fast. It's like a competition. We are fighting for a competition. You have a representation and the representation is very strong. If you get something for you easily, someone having a, a weaker thing will be slowing. So if your Ori is not in a good condition, you are just making it weak. You are praying for sin. It may come to you but late. To take time, it will be very slow before you get the result. Either a prayer or you are using a spiritual work. So now let's continue with the second point. That's the one I call general problem. So whether the fact that you are alive, you will surely face it. So if you are having problem with with them, if you don't have um, some kind of some kind of things to be recognized in life, because I said it that in this world we are we are being surrounded by many things. Life is very mysterious, mysterious alone, very big mysterious. There are, there is a lot of mysteries in this life. Apart from what we see, so there are some there are some problems that are surrounding humanity. That is why spirituality are always very important. Whether it is not until you are facing problem, you should be working on your spiritual life. That's what people don't know. It is some people some people it is until still uh, bad things start happening. That's when you will see them coming to Babala coming around. It may sound funny, it may sound like advertising. No, it's not an advertisement, it's not a directing work. But I want to tell you this between when things is going good for you and when things are not going good, when do you need spiritual spiritual balance, spiritual awareness most? As in where do you need spirit prayer or where do you need spiritual works most? Between when things are going good or when things are not going good. I believe I, I know some people will say it is until things turn bad before you start looking for solution, before you start looking for your spiritual life. And that is very wrong. That is totally wrong. The reason is this when things are there are some grace, there are some natural grace that you may be enjoying that the problem has not got into you. But whether you like it or not, whether it takes time or not, it will surely get to you one day. So when this is going for you, that's why that may be the reason you are not being noticed by the mis a lot of mysterious things surrounding humanity. That may be that that means you may, you may not have been noticed, you may not have been seen. But as long as you are going higher, aiming for bigger things, the public will start noticing you. You will start realizing that you are being surrounded by many things. That's why. So. If you are enjoying the grace, like things are not, things have not been really bad for you, you should also be working on yourself that time. That is the best time to work on yourself. Not until things turning bad. Some people will say when is the best time to appease their worry is when things turn very bad, which is not. When it is time to pray for yourself, it is not until things turn very bad before you pray for yourself. It is when things are going very well, you need that prayer most. You need to work on yourself most. You should take note of that. Tell your children, tell your husband, tell your wife, this thing I'm saying. Now, to this second point, if you are working on your spiritual life, so the general problem will not get to you. So that's the second one there. So there are some general problems that whether you like it or not, whether things are going well for you or not, they will surely get to you. The problem will surely come one day because we are created with it. Women are created with it. When you are born, the day you are born, you are born with um, this thing they call fet that's fetus or I don't know what they call it. The um, oh, so, uh, I'm trying to remember what this thing that comes when you uh, when a new uh, a new child is born. So that thing you see is that's where you buy with it. That the, when the child is born, is born with a goodness and badness. So if you are enjoying the goodness for one time, there will be a time the badness will will, will come. So you should, that's why you should just not look yourself alone and without doing anything. So that's the second thing that uh, whether you like it or not, you need to work on yourself. That's the second point. So and to the last, uh, before I jump to the last one, 
some people now this brought about this video some people were will be asking okay if you if there's a general problem really and then why things are not going for you and all that so some things have gotten worse before you work on them that is why it will take time before the solution comes that's the fact and that is the essence of the second point before you work on them it has really taken time before you the, you know something that's been destroyed for years it cannot be repaired one day so that is why when things are going good for you that is when you need to work on yourself the most that's the second point so that's the second point and one of the things that can cause problem to you and then to the last one that will round up this video for the next time i'll be sharing another thing another lecture like this is the extent of and the last one is not knowing yourself not knowing yourself will be the reason you are so you are moving so slowly spiritually you are moving so slowly in life not knowing yourself what do i mean by this we are just the way we have different colors the same way different human beings are created with different uh taboo and the uh, solutions so if you don't know yourself there's no way you get solution easily and there are many ways to know yourself not about not not, not, not before going to uh uh to um to any spiritualist before or maybe you go anywhere for checking before you know yourself you can start knowing yourself by taking note of some things that are happening in your life some people are so careless even about their spiritual life they don't take note it is until things started getting worse before you start taking note because i'm going back i will be going back to the first point your holy will be notifying you if there's any problem is going to happen there's no one that is why a dream is created that is why dream that is what dreams are meant for i said it in a video i made about dream that the reason for dreams are just to be notifying you so if anything is going to happen to you you, you only will notify you through dream that's the only gift given to human so if you are not taking and not knowing yourself problem will be coming easily you may be using spiritual work working on yourself your life may not be going well some people it may be what they love most the problem to their life some people what they love most is fornication and not until they remove hand on that fornication this will not be going well some people what they love most is even by what you hit sometimes can be a problem to your spiritual life what you hit and that is what you will love most. do you know that the thing that will affect your life is what you will always prefer most this thing i'm saying take note of it if you see someone liking something so much there's something attached to it if you see someone loving a uh, carrying woman around too much there's something attached to it the person has been targeted they knows that he is he can only he or she can only be gotten through that thing that is why he, he or she will be attached to it he or she will be attached to that problem that is when they will love that thing the most they may be doing it and be going scot free but knowing knowing this fact knowing this fact will always save you the, that thing you love the most may be the problem you are having and you will not want to depart from it you know before a problem will depart from you it's always it is always not easier because spiritual problem always lies where it's sweeter where it's very cool in your life so that is where it's very hard to separate for example now when someone do an um, if i initiation for example we are going to talk on that in my next uh, video or so when someone do the essence or importance of if i initiation you know is to know what and what to do what and what to eat what and what not to eat but when someone do um the if i initiation and he has been is being told to stay away from something you know they are they are normally what will always affect them they are normally what is affecting them and they don't know some people the type of clothes they wear 
are not in good with their star. Are not in good with their star. Something they hit are not in good with their star. The people they sleep with are not good with their star. The kind of uh, what they talk. Some people they are not meant to be sharing things. A day they share a cup of water, problem will begin with their life. It's not about being stingy. It's not about being. The day they share a cup of water with someone, problem will begin in their life. It is not a problem. It's not that the person, the thing being shared with, is carrying the problem. But that's their creation. That's their, um, their personality, their life. That's the. That's how it will be. So they are not meant to be sharing things. But because you don't know yourself. There's no way you know all these things. Although I've created a, a membership platform for God's sons and God daughters, we are a thorough checking this. We are going to make announcements on that very soon. But I've done I've done a series of announcements recently, but it's still going to be put up later. So where we do such kind of things, some kind of proper um, reading start reading and all that for you so you know what and what to do so that one we'll be discussing it later but just like i was saying if you don't know yourself you just be doing every random things some people there's no there's no channel they have not been on there's no there's nothing they have not tried but the solution to, to their problem may be as simple as as as, as water So the solution to their problem is not far fetched, but they'll be looking for something. Some people, it is their only they need to appease, and things will be going well. But instead, they will want to be using uh, using uh, money, uh, blood rituals. That is all these boys. They will want to be using human being for rituals. All these things that are not even necessary. Like I used to say, it you don't need to use anyone before you make it in life. If you work very well on your spiritual life, you don't need to kill anyone. You don't need to do something that will affect you later before you start making it. If you work very well on your spiritual goals, instead of looking for something that has not lost. So because of the video time, I would like to end the lecture today here. We'll be doing more lecture, maybe uh, before this month runs out. So uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure. So if you take time, your time to watch till this end. I pray may the Lord may replace you. The highs that you are used to watch this now, the highs will not go blind. And you will not lack. I pray all the things you learned today be useful for you. So thank you and stay blessed.